Welcome back to Arcade Sunday. Today's video was actually inspired by another YouTuber called Target Chainsaw. Be sure to go and check out his channel. So today I'm going to be covering a con of by Data East in 1987. It's Arcade Sunday. So this is a uh, con of uh, by Data East in 1987. I actually did play a fair amount of this game um, on PC actually, um, although I did play the arcade version at one small little shop. I uh, mainly played this on PC back in the day. Um, let us put it in a coin and see how we play um, this game. It's actually very difficult. I think uh, Daddy East possibly was uh, trying to have a secret competition against Capcom in order to make a more difficult platform game uh, than Ghosts and Goblins. Um, yeah, no, seriously, it's, it's difficult. Um, enemies move quickly, and uh, yeah, you gotta you move a bit slowly. So anyway, it's it's an interesting platform act for sure. Let's uh, put in a coin and see how we play. Right, basically, you go through all these different areas. Um, you probably won't see many or any of them in this gameplay. Uh, but uh, this is kind of a uh, three button game, shoot, jump and C is uh, use special weapon, you see a little uh, at the bottom like a slider there, um, you can choose with a joystick and select and I'm in fast mode, it only lasts for a short amount of time unfortunately because it's actually quite a nice fast way to play but it runs out very quickly as you can see I can, there's enemy shooting coconut biscuits at me, or ginger biscuits. Ginger biscuits, should I say. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm back to the kind of very slow stage. Okay, here's a big pitfall. It doesn't really, doesn't really clearly tell you that, so you throw down a ladder, climb up to a high level, jump off. I don't know how I'm going to get those things up there, but uh, the bomb I found is very useless. In fact, you kind of drop it on the ground and it sits in and blows up a small little explosion. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be effective, but anyway, it's they give you these horrible little things are flying out these little bats they do come down eventually but of course you know at a very inopportune time oh, back there they're hiding in the back now they're probably going to come down as soon as the other ones come down although they didn't come back that's great more ginger biscuits getting thrown at me okay other bats come down bats Odd enemies in this game, and really odd graphics in general. Um, sort of very okay, quite an easy boss. Get a scroll or something. It's probably like a map piece or something. Who knows? So ancient ruins, beware. Which reminds me of something out of Legend of Hero Tama. Okay, this now gets difficult. Now you got to kind of avoid stuff, and then everyone just fight at you at once. Uh, so you can see those like. Statues of David, or if you want to call them. Oh! Hit detection is like, you must be like a block about that big because you get hit very easily. So I think my strategy is going to try and bring that tower down and then kill the head off. Hopefully, yes, beautiful, it works. Okay, same thing here. Just going to choose fast mode and just go for it. Okay, that's how you do the heads, so it's not that difficult. If you don't know that trick. You've had it. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to get up there and have a ladder. There's some power up there. Uh, door. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's see if we can. Oh, come on. Wow. Okay, so that's as far as I got. One, one coin. So I put my name in, and I'm gonna. Play one more coin uh, just for demonstration purposes. Again, this is a game I don't really play a lot or haven't played recently, so it might just be interesting to see just a little bit more into the second stage and then uh, I'll give it a. Uh, I won't continue again after this. I just wanted to see some of the more unique game elements. Smash that door there. Okay, I'm just gonna use the speed up. 
and then let's wait for this guy and shoot until I attack him. I see he's like, okay, tears coming out the eyes there. Okay, I'll just go down. What are all these? Okay, okay, okay. So these are you kind of collecting letter. It's a K there, kind of. It's counting up in the bottom right corner there. I can't quite remember what they do. I think it's probably like a point pass by maybe. Or something, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm sure we'll not find out. It's one of those guys again. I don't know why you would want to do this to yourself with this runaway. guys all the time in this level now, I suppose. Oh my gosh. Getting a hitbox on your character the size of the soccer field. Oh. Nearly died there. I'm just going to avoid this guy for now. Thanks very much. Oh, oh, oh. Who's that gold man? Oh, I'm probably going to get those things. Again, hey. Not very effective. Oh! Uh, gosh, gosh! Oh! Gee, that was quite a trick. What is that thing? I don't like it. What is it? This thing moves very slowly in this game to a degree. Those things are too far up. Need like give me a ladder. Oh my word. Oh! Oh no. See, you don't know where they're coming from. It's quite a tricky attack. What if I go down here? Oh no, probably all down. Okay, I kind of know what's going to happen here. Yeah, so that's uh, kind of, um, I can't say that it's a great platformer per se, um, yeah, it's got some interesting sound effects and a bit of a unique sort of play mechanic, um, quite direct controls, play the East style uh, audio, I will definitely try and play this a bit more uh, in the future, just to see if I can actually get any further, uh, the gameplay is very difficult as you've seen. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you have a great Arcade Gaming Week. Arcade Sunday out.